in the last problem, and we get to one of my favorite movies, Contact. So um, during COVID-19, I'm watching a lot of movies. Favorite is One of my favorites is Contact with Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey, a very young Matthew McConaughey. Great movie, horrible plot. Um, watch it yourself. It involves aliens and uh, signals and signal analysis. So Jodie Foster sends the following signal to communicate with aliens. Um, signal meant to communicate an extra piece only if the alien sample signal properly. Signal aliens can spectral leakage lead to all out intergalactic war. Independence Day, Will Smith. He's not just uh, kind of an old clown. He's still a uh, treasure. Uh, but anyways, um, alien technology is not too advanced and the aliens have three DACs. Um, so these are kind of the, some of the values and we're asked, okay, what DACs will allow us to sample the signal without signal aliasing, without spectral leakage, which will sample properly, which will lead to war. So here, problem, uh, we have omega. So in my the list of frequencies that I have at my disposal, so 1,000 uh, uh, 1, pi, so that's going to be a frequency of, again, this is all omega equals 2 pi f here. So our omega here is 1,000 pi equals 2 pi f. So my f is going to be equal to 500 hertz. So I have a, I have a signal, or I have frequencies of 500. These are all in hertz. I have a by 50,000. I have a frequency of 0 0.15. I have a frequency of, I'm not even going to try to do this one. This is where Mathematica comes into play. Uh, get rid of this guy. So what is 3, 4, 8, 9, 8, 5 by 2, 4, 8, 8, so 1, 7, 4, 4, 9. And then finally, I'm going to have my uh, my value here, which is going to be 4. So, I know already that to sample this properly, my F sub S must be greater than uh, 100,000 hertz. And I know that my delta F must be at least 0 0.05 or less. So to have that, I'm going to be able to hit all these frequencies uh, in my signal. So let's go ahead and see which one of these are going to work. So 100, be careful of units here. So 100, that, so number three, I'm just going to go from here to here. 90,000 hertz. No, signal aliasing is going to occur. So signal aliasing. So that is not going to work. Now, 100,000 100, kilohertz, that's a huge, uh, uh, basically, sampling frequency. So that can definitely work. So let's go ahead and, but the problem is here is going to be our number of points. So let's look at one, for example. So I'm going to do all five, one. So here, let's say I choose, again, let's say I choose the minimum sampling frequency. Let's say I do an integer value. Let's say my S of S is equal to 100,001. Again, it's greater than two times that. Uh, so now I need to solve delta F. So I know that my delta F, largest value, must be 0.05. All right, so that's that value. Oops, let me readjust this guy. Um, so now I'm going to solve. I need to figure it out. I know that my delta F is going to be equal to my F sub S divided by my big N. So what big N value will satisfy this problem? Oops. I'm going to need quite a few points. <laughs> so I'm going to need uh, basically at least two point, basically two million points um, effectively. So let's see what's going to happen. So we know three's out already based on our sampling rate. This will work for signal aliasing, and this will definitely work. The problem is number of points here. So number of points, so number one, we can't do because of spectral leakage, SL. And for signal aliasing, SA, we're good to go. We're okay. Check mark. Uh, signal aliasing, though, uh oh, we're out of there. Um, what about this? This is 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's not going to, again, signal aliasing, we're also okay here. We get the, you know, again, plus, plus, plus chart, uh, check mark. So we're good to go there. But we don't have, again, we still do not have enough points in order to kind of sample this correctly. We need basically 2 million, 2 times 10 to the 6, 
uh, 2 million points here. So this will not work either due to, again, uh, spectral leakage, SL. Here, we have enough points, but the problem is, again, we can't sample high enough. So unfortunately for us, uh, we're going to have to call Will Smith, and he's going to have to save us uh, from this problem. Now, uh, we are going to now go into an example of signal aliasing uh, and showing like the apparent frequency. We didn't cover this too much in our um, this, or we didn't cover it as in depth as we did previously uh, for this practice exam. So this is not going to be as critical, um, and it might not show up on your exam. But in case for those of you that are interested, uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Um, we continue. We wanted to continue to uh, quiz these aliens. So I have a signal here. So the frequency of this signal, f of my signal, is going to be equal to what? 5,000 hertz. So for each plot below, I've sampled it. So I need to figure out what's the f sub s, delta t, and apparent frequency. And I need to figure out which sample is signaled properly. So let me get out of here. Now, let's see when this sample repeats. I'm going to do this in blue. So down, down, up, up, down, 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 down. And then, so right here is where this kind of point repeats again. So it also goes down, down, down. So I go down, up, down, down, up, and then down again. So let's go ahead and repeat that. So basically here, one period, and then two period. So I have two cycles, two periods for uh, basically this 0 0.00, you know, two periods in this, uh, two cycles in this 0 0.002 seconds. So I repeat, basically here, my period is going to be uh, 0 0.001 seconds. So my F apparent is going to be 1 divided by T. So for this left graph, it is going to be 1 divided by 0 0.001. So that is 1,000 hertz. hertz. And I could count. So from here to here, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I know that this total time here is 0 0.002 divided by 12. So, and then, so that is going to be my delta T. So the total delta T is equal to this. Because again, my period, so like this whole period, you know, uh, essentially this whole period is going to be 0.002 divided by whatever points. So some arbitrary period equals the T. So if I divide that out, I can figure out that delta T. And then I know my F sub S is equal to 1 divided by delta T. I should actually. So this is my F sub S is equal to 6,000 hertz. So this is all for this side of the graph. So my apparent frequency does not match my frequency, my signal, 1,000 versus 5,000, because what do I need to sample at to avoid signal aliasing and av to avoid aliasing my signal? I've sampled at 6,000. I need to be above 10,000. Well, now let's look at the other uh, graph here. So I go up, down, up. That repeats. Up, down, up. So again, I repeat over this one, two, three. So again, I could count uh, kind of the total number of points. So my apparent frequency is here and here. So this is, let's go ahead and figure out our delta T first. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So my total number of points is 30. My T is still 0 0.002. I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, again, 0 0.002 divided by 30. So that's going to be my new delta T. I'm going to quit this kernel. I'm going to make sure I do my good delta T. Excellent. So 
I know that my F sub S is equal to 1 divided by delta T. So here, I am sampling at 15,000 hertz. So if you, our F of our signal was 5,000 hertz, so I'm good to go here. Good check mark, Josh. <laughs> uh, now, let's see what my, I've got my delta T, I've got my F sub S, uh, what's my apparent frequency? So I see it repeats after one, uh, two, actually, you can kind of look at it here. So we have one delta T, actually, let's look at it from here. So I have one, two, one, two, three, four. So four delta T right here. Let's go ahead and make sure that's evenly spaced. So from our period, it's going to be four times delta T. What's the, what's the value here? Oh, actually, this is going to be three delta T. So again, repeats, not taking into account that first uh, component here. So one, actually, one, two, three, repeat. So one, two, three, repeat. <laughs> so let's go ahead one more time. One, two, three. And then here you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, you can look at how many periods. So, so this is one period, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. So here, one divided by three delta C, 5,000 hertz. Again, that's our apparent frequency. Our apparent frequency matches our signal frequency. We have not, we have sampled this signal properly. This has signal aliasing because again, our parent frequency is different from our signal frequency. Excellent. So again, will this problem appear on an exam? Not as likely, um, probably more um, kind of frequency spectrum and some uh, kind of analysis that may be given. Again, inverse problems are always um, typically in play uh, on this exam uh, and DAX and sampling frequencies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So be uh, on the lookout for that and yeah, I will see everyone. Uh, good luck on the exam. I'll see you all at the review session. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. If you need any additional problems, I'd be happy to do so. So good luck, and I know you'll do great. Thanks. Bye.